So today we're going to be talking about Zhao Ho Dun, the four-star fast fighter from the Three Kingdoms War. We are going to be talking about his stats, his special skill, his amazing minions, and an idea of where to put emblems on Zhao Ho Dun. We are not going to be talking about how Zhao Ho Dun got that eye patch, and definitely, definitely not what he did with that eye when it came out. Three level up without emblems, Zhao Ho Dun comes up at 641 attack, 748 on defense, and 1179 on HP. So how does that compare to the other 21 four stars in ice at time of recording? Well, long story short, the attack is average, the HP is average, and the defense is very good. Yes, that's 641 on attack is 14th out of 21, the HP is 12th out of 21, and the defense comes in at 5th out of all 21 current 4-star ice heroes. Later in the video, we'll be talking about where to put emblems on Zhao Hu Dun. For now, let's talk about his family bonuses. Depending on how many members of the Three Kingdoms family you have on your team, be it 1, 2, or 3, you will get both 2%, 4%, or 6% mana gained, and 2%, 3%, or 4% heal each time a minion is summoned for the hero. So even if Zhao Ho Dun is the only member of the Three Kingdoms family on your team, you have a 2% mana gain and a 2% heal every time Zhao Ho Dun gets a minion. And that's awesome because it doesn't have to be a minion produced by Zhao Ho Dun, it can be anyone on his team producing a minion for him. And if that wasn't enough, Three Kingdoms heroes also get a morale boost. The morale boost means that heroes belonging to this family, as well as heroes fighting alongside them, receive an additional perk in the War of Three Kingdoms. That is a plus 10% attack, a plus 3% on defense, and a plus 7% on health. And just to make that super clear, Zhao Hu Dun will get that perk, but also everyone fighting in his team, every ally will get that 10% attack, plus 3% on defense, and that plus 7% on health. Right, let's now move over to the special skill, and it is called Chilin Blade. Yes, it is pronounced Chilin, or at least that's my best go at it. It is a creature from Asian mythology. Chilin Blade is a hit one skill. It does 355% to the target. That is a whopping hit. That is very, very big compared to other four star hit one heroes from the ice element. In fact, at time of recording, only Triton from season two has a bigger hit one attack damage from all ice four star heroes that hit one with their special skill but that's not the best bit of chillin blade no the best bit is the minion skill Zhou dun with his special summons a way soldier minion for the caster and nearby allies with 14 percent hp and 20 percent attack inherited from the caster that's not the best bit here's the best bit each hit from a way soldier minion dispels all dispellable buffs from the target. You heard that right, a minion hit from one of these way soldier minions will dispel all dispellable buffs from the target. This includes all your least favorite skills to go against in the current meta at time of recording. I'm talking about your taunt skills, your dodge skills, your reflect or counterattack skills. That's right, all of these buffs can be removed by a single minion hit from one of these minions produced from Zhao Ho Dun. That means with a single hit from one of these minions, you can dispel buffs from the target as long as they're dispellable. This can be a whole stack of skills, for example, defense up, attack up, and share damage, all gone with a single 
minion hit from Zhao Ho Dun's minions. These minions are awesome. And as you can see, I have been using Zhao Ho Dun against five star heroes, particularly against those that I've been having so much trouble with recently. I'm talking about your Ludwigs, your costume Catalans, and to a lesser extent, your Hanitras. These minions are really, really good at turning the tide of a raid. You just have to keep them alive. And it's for this reason that I recommend going down the HP and sword pathway when you are putting emblems on Zhao Ho Dun. Going down the sword and HP pathway anywhere there are HP and swords, you can get Zhao Ho Dun to 716 on attack. 807 on defense and 1338 on HP. With that extra HP, minion HP increases from 165 to 187. This gives you a extra 22 HP per minion. So 66 HP for all three minions if you have all three minions alive at the same time. It may not sound like a lot, but if you have 561 HP on three minions, there's more chance of them being alive and hitting your opponent's back and stealing their buffs. And that is what you want from Zhao Ho Dun. Basically, that is the downfall of these minions. They're not very big. They are nowhere near as big as a Hulda or a Divana minion who are 31% of HP and 35% of HP respectively. And yes, I know I am comparing Zhao Ho Dun to two five-star heroes there. I'm just trying to emphasize the point that we need to try and make those minions as meaty as possible. So here are three suggestions to do that. The first is nice and simple. I do recommend limit breaking Zhao Ho Dun. That will help increase both his HP and his attack if you level him up via a limit break. If you have Froth, the old hero of the month, I say old, it was only last year he came out at time of recording. If you have Froth fully leveled up, you can bear him with Zhao Ho Dun and Frost every time he fires adds 30% HP and 30% to attack of all minions on his team. And lastly, but not leastly, I have been combining Zhao Ho Dun with a Taunt Hero. If you are lucky enough to have a Taunt Hero in your roster, I would combine them with Zhao Ho Dun. This means that attacks will be going away from Zhao Ho Dun and his minions and will help keep them alive. So yes, to keep those minions alive, I recommend going down the HP and sword pathway with your emblems. I also recommend limit breaking Zhao Ho Dun. Plus this hero will pair very well with any hero that can buff minions and or combining him with a taunt hero to protect the minions from special skills. I am very much enjoying Zhao Ho Dun. I recommend leveling him up immediately and using him in four star buff booster tournaments. That's where he will shine the most, but you could also use him in five star raids to get rid of things like taunt, like dodge or counter attacking skills. That's all the time we have for today. I hope that was useful. Please remember to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment below on what you think of Zhao Ho Dun. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.